Hi, welcome to the Creative Business Suite. I'm Mutiat Adebowale, founder, Creative Business Suite. Today, we will be talking about the three S's of a successful entrepreneur. So what are the three S's of a successful entrepreneur? This came about as a result of an interaction I had with one of my coaching clients. And just to give you a brief of it, my client has a busy schedule. She's a mother, she's a wife, and she works nine to five Monday to Friday, which means she has to fit in everything she has to do within the time she's got. And she has to be on her toes five days a week and leaving the weekend for the family and of course for herself. That's if she ever gets to have the time to do that. Secretly within my client, she doesn't want to live this lifestyle any longer and she wants a change. She wants to do something differently. And just during the first coaching session we had, we were able to highlight how she could find the time and break down things and put other things into a routine. You know, we were able to find out that she has a lot more time than she ever thought of but the problem was that she did not put in place all these three things that make up the three s's of a successful entrepreneur and that is what i'll be talking to you about today so what are the three s's of the successful entrepreneur they are sequence structure and strategy now did that come back sequence what is sequence sequence actually is the coherence the flow it's the relatedness of the activities you've planned for yourself sequence is about having a follow-up sequence is about about you having a list of activities you want to do in a way that they are related, they are coherent. There is a build up from one thing to the other and so you are not left flying all over the place. Sequence for you as a professional or as an entrepreneur is, you know, your ability to to build up related activities, contents, events that will help you have a stronghold of some sort, you know, in your planning of the things you will do so that you know, this is what I want to do today. Day two, this is what I want to do. This is, it's, it's, it's a sort of planning, yes, that puts you all together, that makes sure that you are not all over the place that you're not here and you're not there you're not thinking what to do or you're not doing this and leaving it you know, you know so it's a planning for you to know what you're going to be doing when you're going to be doing it what time you want to do it how long for and all of these things so that is your sequence your coherence your relatedness of the events and activities that you're going to be doing all put together and that way you know you're organized everything is in order and you're not scattered all about so one, you must have a sequence of what you want to do. You must have a plan and you must put in place, you know, a, a kind of a timetable. Yeah, you know, the orderliness of what you want to do. So that's your sequence, the flow of the things you're going to be doing so that it, it, it correlates with one another and you can go smoothly, you know, within your routine and, you know, balance up how you do your things. Number two, it's your structure. So what is structure? Hmm. Structure really has to do with the way that you operate, the way that you do your things. So that's where, you know, not just the planning, but the, the, the intricates of how you get your things done. What is the structure of your your routine what do you do at from what time to what time you have a sequence you have your activities you, already you know what activities you've mapped out for yourself so the structure is putting together how you want these things done 
in an orderly manner okay so basically your structure you know will help you accomplish the things that look cumbersome because but because by the time you're able to highlight them put them on the table no this is the time you want to do this activity a this is the time you want to do this activity too then you're in line with what you want to do and and in that case there are no no troubles you can go you know with the flow and you can go in an orderly manner so you have your sequence that's the activities you want to do you've mapped up your activities you've mapped up what you want to do then you have your structure you know how you want to do them what time you want to do this you know putting that in place and the third thing here is your strategies these are the systems the protocols you know the processes the things that you'll be doing so let's put all this together as an entrepreneur okay so what is your sequence your sequence is how do you want to do it what are the things you want to do do you want to have a website do you want to do you want to make your things and sell you know you know what you want to do with your business what is your business idea right how do you put it across to people you have that in line you know what your business is you know the activities you're going to be doing okay and then your structure is for example you know your, your your activities you're going to be doing as a as an entrepreneur okay let's say you are um a cake maker okay so you know that you definitely have to to make cakes do this do that before you do that what are the things you put in place what are the activities your activities will be you you have your skills you've learned how to make your cakes then what's the structure how do you want to do that get in touch with people how do you want to get in touch with people online offline um web content these are the structures i want to write two emails every day to the people i know i want to i want to get on the telephone and get in touch with people i want to do events i want to do um cake coffee mornings and all of this you know, you, you have a plan of the things you want to do and how you want to do it. And then the strategy. How do I get it delivered to them? How do I get my payments done? Okay. These are the processes, the systems you have in place. Okay. So the first thing is you must have a sequence of activities that you want to do. You must know what the things you will be doing in your business are. Right. To get you, you know, a solid footing. The structure, you must know how you want to do it. You must plan how you want to do it. Every morning, I'm going to be doing this. Two days a week, I'm going to be doing this. Three days a week, I'm going to be writing emails. One day every month, I'm going to be having a seminar. You know, that is the structure. It's a plan, right? Getting organized, knowing what you want to do. Being able to manage your schedules no matter what because when you're not able to manage your schedules you're, you're you're all over you are going to have the time to do all of these things but you will think you do not have the time so structure is very important and once you have your structure then the strategist that's the systems that makes life easy easy for you put the systems in place you don't have to have elaborate system you don't have to have what you cannot afford you're a small business Put, you know the little systems of processes in place in terms of your payments in terms of your communication with your audience right I'm gonna be using Twitter get affordable Twitter I'm gonna be using communication I'm gonna be using PayPal as my payment I'm gonna be delivering um, online offline you know these are the processes the, what what makes starting a business or doing a business difficult for people is because they do not have a plan and idea of what they want to do but once you're able to set out your sequence your structure and the strategies you want to put in place then everything will be easy for you okay you can have a breakdown of all of these things when you go on www.creativebusinesssuite/freebies we have a whole template of how you can put your structure, your sequence, and your processes in place. And until I see you next time, just keep being successful. <music>